and said, hey, where are these? And he said, oh, right over there. And then he turned around and walked away. And I was like, okay. Ayo, welcome to the vid. I am going to run some errands quickly. Um, Connor said he's not ready for me to help him move the sink yet, so I am going to go to the bank and buy some groceries. I'm thinking about maybe biking to the farmer's market. I'm not sure yet though. Might be kind of a long bike ride, we'll see. Locked. Done with the farmer's market and my eyes were bigger than my backpack. I got way too many things to bike home with, but we're gonna figure it out, I guess. <laughs> and I'm home and this bag is very heavy and I'm very sweaty. Oh man, biking there and back, it's not too bad except there's a few little, I don't wanna call them hills because it's still pretty flat. But there's a few up and downs. Just went on a little walk to deposit some money. This is so cool, I live right next to everything. I'm about three blocks from a bank that I can do that stuff at. I was gonna walk to the grocery store, but then Connor called me and said that he needs my help, so I'm gonna walk back home, hop on my bike, and head off to his place, and then I think he's gonna have me pick up some drywall. I am back from Connor's. The kitchen is not done yet. Um, I don't know, the goal is to have it done today, but there's still a few small things that need to happen to it to make it be done. I had to go to Home Depot to pick up some stuff and oh man, the people there were not helpful at all. Like, I've never been to this Home Depot. Usually Home Depots are great. People there are super friendly, super helpful, and they tell you exactly where things are. Oh, but this place. So I had to ask one person where the shims were. I said, hey, where are these? And he said, oh, right over there. And then he turned around and walked away. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I had to have somebody help me cut some drywall and he cut the first one, I was like, this is not the size I asked for. And so he's like, all right, let me try it again. So we cut it again and it just, his, he doesn't know anything about carpentry. Not like I do either, but I know that you want right angles when you cut things. So long story short, he was incompetent and I had to cut my own drywall because he didn't know what he was doing. I kind of felt bad for the guy. Like it was easy. All I had to do was have him cut it at 67 inches and a half. And the first one he, like one side was good, one side was 67 and a half and the other side was like 64 and I was like, dude, you gotta cut a straight line. Like, I don't know, I kinda felt bad that he was wasting his product and he just didn't know what he was doing. Anyway, I am back home now. I never got a chance to go to the grocery store. That was another plan of mine. But today I did go to the farmer's market and the bank. So I'd say it was pretty productive so far. All right, I am back from everything. So I biked to Mackenzie's place where I filmed a segment or a sketch for the show now I need to edit it. I'm going to look at that tomorrow though because I'm very tired. Mackenzie drove me here because I didn't really feel like biking back because I was tired and I just wanted to be home. Don't think I recorded much today actually. Anyway, off to bed. Um, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and try to clean my room. Anyway, do what's right and you will see me tomorrow.